Hi guys, uh, please, my, uh, if you can put your phones on silent before we start. Uh, I'm just going to um, introduce myself for the people who don't know me. So my name is Lina Adada, I'm the nutritionist at Forever Living Products and today we're going to talk about the weight management training, okay? So we're going to explain in detail on how to use the Forever products to help you guys lose weight and what you can explain to others uh, how to use these products for, okay? If you can't see me, you can just come a bit closer because you're, yeah, <laughs> or like this, yeah, perfect, okay. So um, let's start and uh, if you can just keep your questions till the end, but of course, if you have any question that is, you know, if there's a slide that you don't understand, you can just cut me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's start. So first we're going to start with a small video that shows you the importance of weight management and taking good care of your body and losing fat. So this video is not only for children, it's for, even, for adults as well. So guys, it's very important and serious that you take good care of your health and not to, you know, uh, be overweight or obese, okay? So let's start now with, with a small game, uh, truth or fact, to see how well you know about uh, weight management. So is snacking uh, always a bad idea? Myth or fact? What do you guys think? Myth, because you can have a healthy snack. It's not always, snacks aren't, aren't always supposed to be bad. Carbs are all bad. No, no true. Drinking plenty of water promotes weight loss. Yes. yes, correct. If I exercise a lot, I can eat anything I want. No, you need to be careful as well. Uh, losing weight helps prevent certain chronic illnesses. Yes, if you lose weight, you, you might even like reverse this chronic illness. And consuming alcohol contributes to weight gain. Yes. Yes, because alcohol is like a sugar and it, uh, it makes you gain more weight, okay? So, you guys got them all correct. Now we're going to start with the calories and metabolism. So, do you think that you, you gain weight because of genetics or because of like uh, what you guys are eating? So most of the things why you do why you you're gaining weight is because genetics account in 40% to 70% of your weight. So if some people for example the more as much as they eat they're still the same. They won't gain weight because of genetics. But some people um, also eat a lot so these factors are going to make them gain weight. But genetics play a very big role which is almost 70% of how you look. But how can you increase your metabolism? How can you uh, have a high RMR, we will tell you in a bit. But first, what are the factors that make you gain or like make you, makes you gain more weight? For example, the learned eating habits, if you eat a lot, uh, activity factor, if you exercise or if you don't exercise, um, if, you, if you are like obese or if you're poor and you can't buy food, 
and especially this is very important for people who are breastfeeding or, are, or, or have kids. It's very important that you breastfeed till a really like good age, minimum six months, and try not to overfeed your child. If you overfeed your children at a young age, they're gonna grow up and become obese or just overweight. Okay, so just be careful. Um, then, how can you know if you guys are ob obese, overweight, or normal uh, body weight? This, there's something called BMI. It's the body mass index, okay? You can calculate it by you put your weight and you divide it by your height in meters um, squared and then you can get like this number. If you get between 18 to 24, that means you have a normal BMI. If you get 25 to 29 or almost 30, then that means you are overweight. And lastly, if you are, your BMI is more than 30, that means you are obese. Okay, it's very important to have a BMI that is normal. Okay, so try to calculate your BMI later. I can help you do that maybe at the end of the session. Okay, so just so we know uh, how healthy you are. You can take a picture, you can just write down whatever you guys need. Done? Okay, great. Now, I just want to tell you like how important it is that how serious it is worldwide that now people are overweight and obese. If you can see, um, obes obesity has nearly tripled since 1975. It has become so known everywhere in the world. Uh, more than 1.9 billion adults and 18 years and above were overweight. Of these, over uh, 650 million were obese. So it, we're talking about very big numbers, like millions and billions of people who are obese and overweight. Okay, and I just want to, to make sure that uh, you know that, that obesity is always preventable. So you can always change that, you can always lose weight, it's not like a disease, okay? If you are obese, it's fine, but you can always, you know, reverse it by exercising well, eating well, taking good supplements, okay? Great. Now, we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna calculate the BMI at the end, so we see how uh, healthy you guys are. But what is also a cause of excessive energy intake? Like why do you gain weight? First are the large portions. Sometimes you say, I'm not eating a lot, but I'm gaining weight. But maybe there's, there are some hidden calories in the food, for example, like oil in the salad dressing, right? So just be careful what you're eating. And whenever you have a question, just you can always call us at the center and I will tell you what is the healthiest options of food. Okay, so also, as I said, energy-dense foods containing hidden calories. And when you, you are eating large portions, frequent meals, uh, fast food, these are all very bad for you. Now, what are the problems that come with overweight or body fat? You have, for example, surgical risks, you, you might even have type 2 diabetes, you might have hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, bone diseases, um, you know, like cancers, pregnancy, difficulty, delivery. So it's like we have several problems all related to excessive fat and excess uh, body weight. Okay, so it's really serious. Don't take it light. Now, the weight management. What is weight management? Basically, it's balancing energy intake and energy um, out. So what's in and versus what's out. What's in is what you're eating, and what's out is how you exercise, what you do to take out the calories in your body. Right? Okay. Now, this is the RMR that I was talking about, because some people have it genetically. Yes, hi, please, you can join us. Uh, the RMR is what what you what you are you know like um, uh, what your calories are burning without doing anything. So while sitting, some people have a higher RMR than others. But how can you increase this RMR so that your body can um, burn more calories? So usually it's by exercising, right? And by also taking something. What is this something? We're going to talk about the first product now which is the aloe vera gel. So the aloe vera gel will help you increase your RMR and your metabolism because this product is really good for um, the digestive system. So if you have any problems, you know, uh, with your digestion, it's good to take aloe vera gel. It also, has, uh, it also has lots of vitamins and minerals, so it's really good for nutrients. And it has eight essential <coughs> amino acids, it's also really good for nutrient absorption. Some people don't absorb really well the nutrients, so it's really good for that. 
So you can take 120 milliliters with water, you can mix it with water three to four times a day. Okay? So it's also good for anyone. So we're going to talk about at the end about the medical claims and who are the people who should not take these products. Okay? Just, it's like one slide at the end, we're going to go through it. But for now, this is the aloe vera gel. It's good for your metabolism, your, your just overall digestion. Okay? Moving forward. How to control your hunger? What are the foods that you should avoid because they're going to make you even more hungry? And what are the foods that you should eat? For the foods to avoid are, for example, sugar, pastries, bagels, fast foods, salted uh, foods, and refined carbs. So if you can see all these, uh, all these um, foods right here, and these are the foods that you should be eating. For example, walnuts, almonds, dates, high fiber foods, protein, oats, avocado. These are really healthy food that will help you keep you full, that will make you full, okay? You won't feel hungry if you eat these foods. All right, perfect. Now, the Garcinia Plus is also a way to not, to, uh, that you can take it so you won't feel hungry. So because why? It is an appetite suppressant. So whenever you're feeling hungry all the time, and if you know someone who's feeling hungry all the time, you can, you can tell them you can take Garcinia, you won't feel hungry because you can take um, uh, one self gel three times per day before a meal, and that way you won't eat a lot. So the quantity of your food will be less. Okay, so um, it is used as a weight management um, supplement. Okay, so you can take it one tablet three times a day as an appetite suppressant. So you won't eat a lot. Yeah. What else, what, what other product also help with the weight management? The Forever Lean. Why the Forever Lean? Because uh, Forever Lean helps, um, uh, doesn't help you absorb the carbs and the fat from the food. So if you, if you want to have like a high calorie meal which, which are high in fats and carbs, you can take lean 30 minutes before that, uh, that meal plan and it will help you not absorb these two uh, products, okay? So that way also it will just go with the stool. So you can take up to four capsules a day and you can take one capsule immediately before having a meal, especially one that is high in fats or carbs, okay? So the Garcinia and the Lean are very important to take before a meal if you would like to reduce your weight and cut off on food. Very good. Do you have questions about these two products? Uh, what's the difference between them and the Garcinia and the Lean? Yeah, so the Garcinia is an appetite suppressant, so you won't feel hungry, okay? But the Lean won't help you absorb the fat and the carbs. Okay. okay? Before, uh, 30 minutes? Yes you can take it before a meal. Just take like uh, 20 to 30 minutes before a meal, uh, a, a capsule, so you won't absorb oh, okay. it. Okay, the lean, not directly? No, not directly. Oh. You can wait a little bit, yeah. Okay. And you can take both? Yes, you can oh. take both, it's fine. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, but it's always better, like you can start, for example, with the Garcinia, because Garcinia, you can take it for a really long period of time, and then you can use the lean, yeah? Okay, now, basic nutrition. We're gonna talk about in detail a little bit about the carbs, the protein, and the fat, so you know what do they do with these products, okay? Now, uh, usually in your food, you should take more carbs than you should take fats, but the healthy fats, and at the end, the protein, okay? We're gonna talk about it in details right now. So, the carbs. People always say carbs are bad, carbs are bad, but they're not always bad. There are, we have some, bad carbs, but we also have some good carbs. The simple carbs are usually the bad ones, okay? And the complex carbs are usually the ones that you should focus on in your diet. So the simple carbs are, for example, the raw sugar, the brown sugar, um, just like the syrup, um, soda, breakfast cereals, and cookies. These try to avoid because they're gonna make you even more hungry and they're gonna make you gain weight. And these try to focus on because they won't make you gain any weight if you take them in good quantity and they will make you even full for a long period of time. Like the fruits, the vegetables, the nuts, whole grains, uh, like whole wheat bread, also brown pasta, brown rice, these are really good, they are high in fiber. Uh, oats, peas, and rice, okay? Try to focus on this type of food. Mm -hmm. 
done? Okay, so what else from our product that is a good fiber source that will also help you keep you full? The forever fiber. So in case you want to have a snack and you don't know what to, you're feeling hungry in the middle of the day and you want a, like a good source of carb, you can have the forever fiber. It's just a sachet. You put it in water and you stir, the, you stir it in with water and you just drink it. That way it's a complex carb and you will feel full after drinking the forever fiber. Okay? So just mix it with warm water and stir well. You can also add it to the light ultra or the, or the aloe vera gel. You can add it to both. Okay? Yes, you can also add it to the aloe vera gel. Now, protein, we finished the carbs, okay? So as I said, we have good carbs, we have bad carbs, we have fiber, which is the forever fiber. Now we're gonna go to the proteins because proteins are really essential to have it in your daily uh, meal plan. What are the good sources of protein? We have meat, eggs, beans, pulses, legumes, seeds, uh, like chia, uh, chia uh, flax seed, nuts, quinoa, avocado, these are really the best uh, protein sources. But as you all know, not all people eat this every day, right? And you need a supplement to help you with your protein consumption during the day. So what do you think? What is the like uh, one forever product that we have? That Ultralight uh, Ultra Light Yow, it's going to come in a bit. But we also have another one, like a snack which is the Pro X2, okay, Forever Pro X2. It comes in two flavors. It's really good as a snack because it's full of proteins, okay? You can use it as a snack. You can use it before exercise or after exercise since it's high in protein. And you can also, you know, like mix it with ice cream or whatever. Uh, we have it in um, chocolate and we also have it in cinnamon. So two flavors for your choice, okay? Now... We finished the, the carb, we finished the protein, well, now we're going to move to the fats. People hear fat and they think that it's fat, that we're going to gain, gain weight, but it's not the case. Healthy fats are the most important thing that you, your body needs. What is the, we're going to talk about different types of fats. We have something that is bad, which is the saturated fat. Try to avoid this in your diet. For example, like the butter, the cheese, the lard, these are really bad fats. But we have the monounsaturated and the polyunsaturated. These are the good fats because they are the oil, olive oil, for example, the canola oil, and the most important fat that your body needs, the omega-3 and the omega-6. But these fats, they, they are only found in fish or some nuts, okay? Uh, so, so we don't always eat fish every day. That's why you need a supplement to help you get the omega-3 from. What do you think is the supplement? Yes, you guys are good. You know, you know your, you, you've done your homework. So <laughs> the Arctic Sea is full of omega-3. And okay, it's really important for your brain, your overall cardiovascular system, your blood circulation. Sorry. Oh, sorry. And you can take two soft gels three times a day with meals. Okay, so you can take it before a meal or after a meal, whenever you guys want, but it's really good. Um, it helps, as I said, with um, the overall heart health, the brain health, okay? So really good for blood circulation as well. Um, like any age, it doesn't have any side effects. Like uh, the t tablets, you mean? No, like we can give them half the dose of the adults, so you can have, yeah, like three tablets per day if they want, it's fine. Okay, done, great. Now, micronutrients. We finished the macro, which is carbs, protein, and fat. Now, micronutrients are vitamins and minerals that are essential for your body because you need vitamins to protect you against diseases, right? So, what are the vitamins and um, what are the vitamins that you can get from food? For example, if you need calcium, you can get it from milk or yogurt, for example. If you need vitamin B12, you can get it from beef or fish uh, or cheese or eggs. If you need zinc, you can get it from beef as well and beans and turkey. If you need potassium, you can get it from bananas, okay? So some people don't have lots of potassium in their, in their system. If you need vitamin C, you can get it from oranges, peppers, broccoli, and bananas. These are very important 
but from the food sources. But now, some people don't eat this every day, right? So you, some people, some bodies may lack these vitamins and you need an extra push. So what do you take? Which supplement? What do you think? Is, which supplement has lots of vitamins? Daily. Yes, thank you guys. So the Forever Daily contains a high level of all vitamins, okay? It contains the vitamin A, C, D, B12, iron, calcium, and zinc, okay? It's really rich in vitamins, and you can take it with aloe vera gel for the best results, okay? You can drink it with aloe vera gel, and you can take two tablets per day as a, daily, as a dietary supplement. And you can take it for a long period of time, it's fine. It's just like a boost for your daily um, vitamin supplements. Okay? Great. Now, for digestion, lots of people ask me, like, I have gases, uh, I don't digest food well. What can you tell them? Like, I'm sure they also ask you. They can, of course, the, the number one thing that comes to, that comes to mind is the aloe vera gel because it helps with digestion but it's not also enough they can also take as well the probi this is a really good probiotic because it, it has the good bacteria so because some people don't have this good bacteria they have more bad bacteria in their gut than the good one so probiotic is full of good bacteria you can take one capsule per day as soon as you wake up in the morning on an empty stomach Okay, it will help with all digestion and to have a better uh, digestive system and as well as bacteria. Okay? Guys, this is fine with you, yeah? Very good. So, we're going to move now to the next um, uh, subject, which is sports and exercise. So, how much physical activity does an adult need? Usually, you should do 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise per week, okay, um, which is like 30 minutes five times um, a week, which is like walking um, or cycling or just jogging. This is brisk walking. It's really important. Or you can do strength exercises also two, uh, not or, you should also do, I mean, strength exercises two or more times per week. What I mean by like, if, uh, what I mean by strength exercise is like weightlifting, some squats, some abs, just trying to build some muscles because it will help you with your metabolism for later on if you just want to lose and have a, a better, you know, like muscle mass in your body. Okay. So physical activity is really important. How many of you here are exercising at the moment? Who can tell me? I want to see. Are you exercising? Very good. I still want... Ex excellent. So always try to find the time. I know, I know some people work and they say, like, I'm so tired, I can't do it. But you will always find at least 10 minutes because this is your health, you know, so that you need to take care of your body. Try to find at least 10 minutes to 30 minutes um, a day. If not every day, at least twice a week minimum. Okay? You can do it on weekends. Now... Why is very, it is very important to take caffeine before a workout? How does this affect your body? Because caffeine accelerates fat loss, okay? It also increases your performance. So it also improves the focus in the, in the you know, like class that you're taking. It also decreases your muscle pain. And finally, it prevents disease. So it's very important to take a caffeine, you know, like drinking coffee or a supplement before going to, uh, before going ex to exercise to boost all these that I mentioned. What is the, the, the supplement that is high in caffeine? Therm. Yes, very good. So the therm is really important for you. You can take it before an exercise because it's high in caffeine that it will also like uh, boost your metabolism and help you burn more fat. Okay, so you can, take, you can take two tablets a day. You can take it separately or just together. Okay, usually it's better to take it before dinner. So it's either for breakfast or lunch. Don't take it for dinner because it's going to boost your energy and you won't be able to sleep at night. So always take it during the day, not at night. Okay? So yeah, 
it contains high level of caffeine. Okay, now, I always get this question, what should I eat before exercise and what should I eat after exercise? Because, you know, it's, it's always different. You have to have healthy food in your body to, to be able to gain uh, muscles and to be able to lose the fat. So, first, before exercise, you need to hydrate your body by drinking water. Very important. Or aloe vera gel, okay? Because aloe vera gel is a really good source of hydration. So try to drink as much as you can aloe vera gel or water before going to exercise. You can also eat the good healthy carbs, as I mentioned before. What are they? For example, the uh, whole wheat toast, yogurt, uh, pasta, brown rice, fruits and vegetables. These are really important before a workout. And if you don't have time, you can just have a small snack or a banana, for example, or just some dates or an apple before your exercise, okay? These are the healthy uh, options. Now, what to eat after exercise? I'll tell you now. Mm, I forgot, sorry. So also, as a supplement, you need to take the RG+, plus because before exercise, it's high in arginine, and it will help you boost if you want to, you know, like gain more muscles. Um, it's a really good product that you can take before any exercise or any sport. Uh, it's a, you know, like a blend of uh, forever food and a vitamin complex. It is also really, really good for people who have, um, have like cardiovascular problems because it helps with the cardiovascular heart and it helps with the bone and tissue growth and repair. So in case you're doing lots of exercise and you have a fracture like an in your tissues, it will help. Uh, it will help repair the tissue of, uh, of of your body. It also helps with the male sexual function, and um, it's an anti-aging uh, hormone production as well as you can just you know mix one packet with water or just even um, forever the aloe vera gel. So whatever you can mix it with any beverage that you want. Okay. But it's really important that you take it before or even after your workout, it's fine. Like both are fine if you take it before or after workout because it, it contains a high level of arginine that will help with your muscle production, muscle building. Done? Now, what to eat after a workout? We finished with the before uh, workout. Now, after the workout, it's also very important to have healthy foods and healthy supplements in your body. So. First, the fluids. Drink lots of water, uh, aloe vera, juice, some milkshakes, some protein shakes. You can also eat, also, as I said, the good carbs. We also mentioned what are they, for example, sweet potato, whole wheat pasta, uh, brown rice, okay? Protein. Eat lots of protein after your workout. If you want to build some muscles, you need to eat lots of protein, really, like meat, egg, eggs, tuna, fish, um, chicken, beans, these are really good sources of protein, okay? <coughs> but what also sh you should take after a workout, you can take the Forever Light Ultra because it's a really good sh protein shake that you can take after a workout since it contains high level of proteins. You can also uh, mix it with milk or just, you know, um, any other smoothie. You can also mix, uh, do like um, some ice cream with it or some pancakes, whatever you guys want. But it's a really good uh, pr uh, product for after a workout. All right. We have it in vanilla and in chocolate flavor. So you can choose your own flavor, whatever you prefer. We finished this. Now we're going to go into the individual program and we're going to talk about the C9 and the F15. I just want to remind you guys that each body is different. So that's why we talk about an individual program, right? Because some people want, for example, maintenance. Some people want to lose weight. Some people want to gain weight. That's why before you start any, uh, any program, just you can give us a call. We can help you. We can tell you which, product, which program to start with if you are a beginner and intermediate and because we have several... Uh, options for that, okay? Always remember the programs for weight loss are always individualized and customized. The, mo the, bet the more the better for your body. So we're going to start with the C9 program. How many of you here have tried it before? Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience? 
I started first with C9, then C9. Okay. Uh, the first two days, especially the detox, I feel full of energy. Full of energy, first two, two days, very good. And my mind is... I like relaxed, happy, yeah, yeah, very good. Exactly. Okay. And uh, I lost the 12 kilos. 12 kgs. She lost 12 kgs with only the C9 and the F15. That's amazing, really. And you, you did C9? What? No, C9 and F15 she did for one month. Yeah, she lost 12 kgs. And now you're, you're, rec you're recommending it to other people? Very good, very good. Okay, then this is one testimony that I would I really like to share for uh, further use. So it's really good. Uh, if you can also yeah, like sh show for other people your before and after picture so they can know exactly yeah, yeah. how I much. Show you now. Yeah, later if you want. Sure. Uh, okay, so now this is the box that C9. Okay, it contains five products. Do you know what are the products inside or no? Yeah. Exactly. So we have first a booklet. It's a very important booklet because it comes in English and an Arabic version and it explains to you in detail what you should eat. Okay, so for example here I will show you. It explains to you for breakfast exactly what to eat, for snack what to eat, for lunch, dinner and evening time. And it, with the exact like timing, for example, it tells you start with the Garcinia, two soft gels, then wait 20 minutes uh, or 30 minutes, and then you can have the aloe vera uh, gel, you can mix it with water, then you take therm, and then you wait 30 minutes, okay, you can exercise as well at that time, then you, you need to, to wait like two hours to take a snack, the snack will be consisting uh, of fiber, sachet, you mix it with water, then lunch is the same as breakfast, so this is the first two days you don't eat anything, okay? You only drink the aloe vera gel and our, our nutritional supplements, but from day three to day nine, you will start eating a 600 uh, calories meal plan at, at dinner, okay? But it's very easy to do, you can really uh, lose weight very uh, easily, and this, and this uh, catalog, this booklet will help you in detail to tell you how to take the supplements and um, what to take with it. Like we also give you some meal plan options. We don't, you know, for example, if we tell you, you you can take a 600 meal plan calories, we give you the options of this calories, okay, uh, this meal plan, for example. Okay, I will show you now. You will find it here, sorry. And we also give you the exercise option, like what to do. You can do some yoga, some, you know, like steps. Okay, for example, here is uh, some dinner meals. You can get chicken and rice, uh, simple salmon, turkey dinner, uh, all kinds of meal plans, okay, with, 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 with details. With, we tell you exactly what uh, there are in each. Okay, so as I said, you get the five products, like the aloe vera gel, you get the light ultra. And you get a small pack, which is the C9 mini pack. In this, uh, in this uh, uh, box, you get three products, which are the Therm, the Garcinia, and which one? And the Fiber, okay? Very easy to use, guys. The F15 is the same box as the C9, but it contains a different booklet and a different level. For example, some people have beginner, intermediate, or uh, more advanced. So this, it depends on each level if, of activity that you do, okay? Um, the, the beginner is for people who don't really exercise or don't really know anything about uh, having a healthy meal plan. The intermediate is for people who um, are already, uh, you know, like active, but they just, you know, want to be more active and they want a new boost. And and uh, the advance is for people who are really athletic, do they, they do lots of exercise, but they want a new routine for their healthy lifestyle, okay? So these are three different levels for you guys. Uh, but the, the products are the same, are the same as the C9, but you can do the F15 for two weeks, the C9 is only for nine days, okay? Do you guys have any questions? Yes, Sammy. Uh, 
I had some uh, clients that uh, encountered problem with the C9. Okay, why? She has a uh, stomach ache. Okay. As she asking and she is asking uh, to continue or to stop it. Like what stomach uh, problems? Uh, I need to know exactly. And explain <laughs> some uh, an ordinary. Uh, mm. If she has this, then it's better not to take the C9, you know? And she can always try to talk with her doctor, her GP, like if, they're, if she's already talk, like taking any medications or if it's chronic, then let her not, if, if it's gonna make it worse, you know? And because I need to know exactly what, what's the, like, uh, the disease that she has. Yeah, if you want, you can ask her, and then you can send me an email because I, I will give you my card now, and I will tell you exactly if she can continue with it or not. So that way, would be all you know more safe. Any other uh, questions? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if someone said uh, uh, when we do C9, yeah. then we have the constipation problem. Okay. Then what, we, what is the answer? Yes. So uh, it's it's a bit normal to have constipation since you're not eating lots of calories. So you're, you're the first two days you're only drinking, you know. So you're not putting anything in your in your body for you to to have stools. So um, let them continue the C9. Uh, we have also here the fiber. The fiber will help them. Uh, like they can also take some free foods. We give them free foods which are vegetables. These will help them uh, not have any constipation. So let them focus on these free foods like the cucumber. They have like several uh, lists that uh, it won't make them, you know, constipated. Still, if they are not passing the stool, yeah. like that, how they are reducing the weight? No, it has nothing to do with the stools. The weight has nothing to do with the stools. Like you can burn, f don't think the more you, you have stools, the more you're losing weight. It has nothing to do with that. But um, you can still, you know, burn fat. You can because these products will help your metabolism first be faster, um, help with the digestion. So it has nothing to do with the stools. Don't take this as a, you know, like margin. Okay, so don't worry. You can still lose weight. You know, uh, in the uh, C9 program or FAT program, we are not taking tea. Exactly. I, I will tell you something from my uh, experience with my clients, with my patients. You can have tea, like herbal infusion tea, but don't add any sugar to it. You know, because this is like a free food. It's a, ca a zero calorie food. So you can drink it as much as you want, but don't add any sugar or milk to it. Just the normal infusion. It's fine then. Yeah? You're welcome. Question? We, have, we still have one more slide for the complications and, and who are the people who should not take these supplements. Okay, we're gonna go through it. So, the aloe vera gel should not be used if you are pregnant, lactating, if you have had a recent heart problem like stroke very recently. Um, and ask your GP before taking it if you are taking any uh, medications, okay? So always ask if you have any chronic disease or medication. Now, um, the Garcinia Plus should not be taken for kidney disease, um, diabetes, and CNS problems. The Lean should not be taken if you also have NSAID, like NSAID, if you're taking any ibuprofen or, you know, some, something. Uh, if you are also diabetic, if your sugar levels are not, um, you know, controlled, well controlled, because it lowers the sugar levels. So just be careful. Always monitor your blood sugar levels before taking it. The forever fiber should not be taken if you have really like high blood sugar levels. If your blood sugar level is fine, then you can take it, it's fine. The daily should not be taken if you, if you have liver problems or stomach or intestinal problems, okay? Or if you are pregnant and lactating, it's always better to ask your doctor. We also have the therm. Don't take it if you have reactions to caffeine because it is it's high in caffeine. And don't take it if you have hyperthyroidism because it's already, you know, like your, your metabolism is already uh, fast, so it, it will make it even faster. Don't take it, uh, don't, uh, and also iron deficiency. Try not to take it. For RG+, plus, if you have asthma, liver problems, or if you have recent heart problems, or loose aorta, or kidney disease, don't take the RG+, plus, okay? 
because it will make uh, it will make your heart uh, like like your aorta even loosen because it, it helps with the cardiovascular problem. And finally, the forever light ultra. Don't take it if you have a liver disorder, as I said, and if you're taking any hormone uh, replacement therapy. Okay, so this, these are just the conditions that you just you should be careful. And always, always, guys, really ask your doctor or your GP if you if you have any chronic disease or if you're taking any chronic medication. Okay, but other than that, it's fine. It's you can anyone can take the our product. Yes, and, uh, question. Mm. Uh, if these products are not taking uh, the BP patients or uh, like uh, sugar patients, yes. If sugar patients want to lose weight, what mm. we shall suggest? Which, uh, like the C9, for example, if you're taking any insulin, it's better if they don't do the C9. Yeah, what do you what do you recommend? Just like have a normal weight loss meal plan as well. They can have some Garcinia or uh, Forever Lean, but they need to monitor the sugar levels always, you know? But not to go, if they're taking already insulin levels, then it's better that they don't because it will even lower their, um, but they can focus on the aloe vera gel since it helps control the blood sugar levels. And Question? About, uh, are the plus and lighter than yeah. The RG Plus and the Light Ultra. Is it here? It's nothing. RG Plus, they can take it, but always just they need to monitor their blood sugar in case it's fluctuating. If not, then it's fine. It doesn't affect. And the Forever Light Ultra also, same thing. But it's, it contains a bit of sugar. I know the Light Ultra. It contains a bit of sugar. So just be careful. Like if you're taking it, uh, always monitor your blood sugar levels. If you feel like it's speaking, then just stop it. Some people, because they, they eat a lot during the day, they don't take uh, care of their sugar levels. So just always monitor everything. Uh, yes. So what some people uh, on, uh, when they uh, make, make the way for, uh, for their bodies, it is the same, but in the sizes, it is less. Yes, exactly. So some people lose weight, for example. They can lose it by water, they can lose it by protein, which is the muscles. So that's why maybe on the scale, you're not uh, changing, but in, the, in your, your clothes, you feel the difference. So it depends. It's on the shape. It has like so many factors as well. Even when you exercise, some people, for example, they, they, they can build more muscles, but they're losing fat, but on the scale, it's, the, it's still the same but because you're building more muscles. So don't always rely on the scale. It's a good, um, like it's a good uh, monitor, but always also try to see with your clothes, how they fit on you. Yeah. Questions? Because now we're doing the yoga session. So if you don't have, we can start with the yoga. You're fine? As I said, you can always ask us questions whenever you guys want. I'm gonna give you my business card. You can send me an email and you can call us to the, um, on the like, headquarters whenever you want. From nine to six, I will be available as, uh, every day, okay? So for people who don't have my card, who doesn't have it, so I can, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Yes. And, um, so who's coming to the yoga now session? You're all, okay. Yeah, you can change your clothes. I'm gonna change mine and I will meet you outside, okay? Thank you.